All right. Oh, hey, it's recording. Hey, look at that. <laughs> um, uh, this is the daily video update for Thursday, October 15th, 2020. I'm Reverend Oscar Sinclair. I'm joined by Reverend Sherry Woodbury. Hey, uh, everybody. Of, of uh, First Omaha. And we're just catching up and, and getting to know each other a little bit. And um, Sherry, how's Omaha these days? <laughs> It's good. It's uh, it's filled with beautiful fall colors. Well, some of the trees are still green, but you know, there's a lot of lot of gold and scarlet highlights in there too, and uh, it's uh, really beautiful to see that. Yeah. And and you moved up here from Texas, right? Texas, yeah. I've been in Texas for years, um, but I'm a Midwesterner originally. I grew up in Iowa, so a bit of a homecoming coming back here. All right. Yeah. Um, it's it's been really lovely to to talk to you the last little bit. Um, Likewise. Here, um, how is it to to be starting up at uh, at First Omaha this fall in the midst of the pandemic? Yeah, it's an interesting time to start a new ministry. Of course, none of us foresaw this is where we would be uh, during a search process. Um, it's a lovely congregation and I'm really enjoying getting to know people in the ways that I can right now, um, you know, connecting in worship and small groups and just one-on-one -on -one conversations. Um, and I think like, you know, like all of our congregations probably, we're continuing to adapt to the pandemic and kind of explore what are the ways that we can keep our community connected right now with each other and, um, still have some impact in the community uh, beyond our own congregation as well. Um, but so far, so good. Yeah, I'm really glad to be here and looking forward to coming and uh, being a guest yeah. in your virtual virtual pulpit here uh, in a few months and uh, meeting some of your folks too. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So uh, for, for Lincoln folks, we're doing a pulpit exchange the first Sunday in December. So mm -hmm. I'll, I'll preach up in Omaha and Reverend Woodbury will preach down in Lincoln and mm -hmm. it'll be good. Yeah, right. I was admiring your uh, the stole behind you uh, hanging there on the yeah. bookcase, and it was fun to hear the story of uh, that as an installation gift and yep. kind of reflecting the beautiful stained glass there in the sanctuary. So that's a nice touch. Yes, yeah, and um, I, first Omaha this is the nicest office in. <laughs> 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 I do love I do love all the the built-in bookcases. That's that's pretty yeah. great. <laughs> Actually, I'll probably cut that out of the final thing because they they renovated the office in Lincoln right before I came, and and uh, oh, yeah. it's, it's a whole thing. Um, but first, Omaha is beautiful and historic, and and um, makes me feel like I'm back east every time I. Oh yeah, yeah. I've, I've I've been in the middle part of the country, so it's the first time I've really been a part of a UU church that had this kind of architecture. It's, I do love the sunlight coming through the windows <coughs> and just the that quality of spaciousness that you get uh, is lovely. But I hear that your your digs are pretty pretty beautiful too. It's, you had a fairly yeah. recent uh, yeah. renovation. Renovated in in 2015, so. Mm -hmm. um, it was a green renovation, so we're covered in solar panels and geothermal. And, and wow, uh, oh, that's great! That's great. I can uh, imagine that makes it even a little bit harder to not be able to go, yeah, to the facility right now, having having invested a lot in it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But um, I'm, I'll stop the recording in a second. But I, I will also just say say hi to Christina for all of us in Lincoln. Okay. Yeah, thank thank you all for sharing uh, <laughs> sharing her and her family with us. Uh, it's a wonderful connection. All right. 